Hello, this is Andrew, Service Manager at Solar Forever in Perth, just doing an update on the new version of Huawei's Fusion Solar. It's really just been a cosmetic change to the one. I did a video on this a while back, um, and it's just, they've made a few changes, so I thought I'd run through them. So let's start with the energy flow diagram. This is showing that the solar panels are currently producing 6.5 kilowatts, this customer has a Huawei battery, which is 56% full and is charging at 4.99 kilowatts. Uh, he's got a tiny amount of loads in the house, 0.287 of a kilowatt, and um, the exports to the grid are 1.218. And this will update every you know, few minutes. And if you click on various uh, items like this, you can see data about the rest of his system, which I'll come to in a moment. But for most people, the bit of information that they're really interested in is down here. So let's focus on that. And I'll just pull the screen down just a little bit so it's easier to see. This this is kind of not hugely changed from the old version, but, but apart from just a few cosmetic differences. So I'll go to yesterday so you get a better view. So this green chart, as you can see, starting at about 5 o'clock in the morning and finishing, well, what's that, about 7 o'clock, uh, you know, because we're mid-January, um, is his solar production. And if you don't have the Huawei smart meter, consumption meter in your system, then that's all you'll see in your reporting is basically your solar production. If you do have a Huawei meter, uh, then you get extra information such as how much of your solar production did you consume in the house. That's what that blue area is. Uh, that's either charging the battery or providing loads in the house. And if I turn on total consumption, this shows the power pulled, uh, the, you know, the whole house uh, used. And some of that may, if you have a battery, have been provided by the battery. So I'll just turn on battery discharge and uh, just turn off, uh, well, no, I'll leave those on. So you can see in actual fact, the between the battery and the solar, this customer um, bought almost nothing from the grid yesterday. And let's have a look to see how I did the day before, <laughs> even less. So this, this guy is pretty much off grid. Um, he doesn't use the grid for hardly anything. Okay, battery charging, etc. So you can look at that over um, a month and highlight all the information, just pick a day and change the month that you're looking at. Uh, you can look at over a year. Okay. So all fairly straightforward. Okay, so I'm now going to go back up to this area and I'm going to click on the solar panels. Okay, so this gives me information. I'm just going to expand this sidebar here and drop down here. This gives me information about the inverter. Um, let's move this across for a moment just to show, uh, you know, internal temperature at the moment, uh, what it is. Um, yeah, all sorts of information about the inverter. And if I now click on, move this over a bit, click on the battery, then I've got information about the state of charge of the battery um, with charts and so forth uh, available there. Again, if I go back to this and click on you know, the smart meter, the power meter, it gives me a bit of information about what's going on with the uh, consumption meter or smart meter and this customer has optimizers so I can examine the optimizers and see what they're what they're doing okay that's all fairly uh, straightforward stuff and again uh, you have other features if I go to um, uh, for example device management and expand this I'll just uh, move this screen across a little bit okay so if I go to the far end, or click on the inverter first, and then go to the far end of this, I'll have to move the screen again, then I've got export performance data, and I've got all these parameters here that you can uh, you can choose and select the one that you want. You know, you want to know, for example, the internal temperature and the efficiency and how much it derates. I can tell you with Huawei, it hardly derates at all, or you can look at voltages and current and and, and so forth. So you can do that for the battery um, as well. You know, there's plenty plenty of information available for you to, to examine. And that's that's it. That's the, the new look Fusion Solar. I um, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much. Bye.